All right, so we are here checking out the new transfer post. One of the things I am probably most excited about. Um, I'll let you introduce yourself. Cool, thank you, yeah. My name is Tom Pollock. I'm an engineer at Fox. I was the project manager on this. We actually had a team of two different engineers working on this, along with all the other people at Fox. Completely redesigned the transfer, it's all new, and we think it's great, and we're ready to talk about it. Sweet, I think one of the really key things that I think probably you and me will appreciate, because we're both taller riders, there's a 240 option. That's right. So. New travels, goes all the way up to 240 millimeters. We've got 30.9, 31.6, and 34.9 diameters. So we've got the full range of seat post heights and diameters covered. And you were mentioning earlier in kind of some of the presentations, the 34.9 is like a dedicated designed yeah. post for that size. Yeah, a lot of posts don't uh, do anything with the, with the internals or the upper and they just add material and get heavier. And there's no benefit to that. We wanted to make the 34.9 post as good as we could. So the 34.9 gets larger internally, which helps us make it shorter. Uh, the whole chassis is stiffer, which was a, uh, a nice benefit as well. And you can tell that when you're riding it. Another thing that some of the competitors out there have like really easy to service posts. The old transfer, not so much, right. but the new one, you guys are hitting on that. Um, and we've got one torn apart here. Yeah. So maybe you can run us through kind of some of those internal For sure. features and service intervals. So the old transfer, uh, we said bring it back to us at 125 hours. With the new transfer, we've got a very easy to re remove collar. So you can lift up the collar. Just smear some slick honey grease around there, close it back up. We recommend that every 25 hours. That'll keep it running. When it gets to 125, we still don't need to see it. With the collar up, you can loosen this bottom uh, cap. Just really lightly clamp it or grab with pliers. Once you've loosened that, you can slide the entire lower post off. So with the lower post off, you'll be looking at this assembly. Take all these internal parts, the bushings, top outs, uh, and the brass pins, clean them up, regrease them, put it back together. That keeps it running all the way up to 300 hours. At that point, we recommend to send it to us because uh, we like to take care of our own products, but you can service it yourself. This post has wrench flats, Torx interfaces everywhere. You're able to service it at home, no special tools, uh, no special fill or recharge, you can bleed it by hand. So this is uh, highly serviceable all the way from the simple things to keep it running, all the way up to a really experienced mechanic who wants to rebuild it all the way up themselves. And those 25 and 100 hour service intervals, like no specialty tools needed. That's right. Yeah. Yep, so 25 and still 125. And then when it gets to that 300, we're proud of the fact that uh, this post, the only thing it needs to actually be thrown away is some of the small seals. There's not a cartridge. We don't believe that a cartridge is the right answer. It's a, it's a trouble, even if a, in theory, metal is recyclable, the reality is you have to take it down, separate the parts. It's not really practical. And so we believe in, in our philosophy of replacing seals, not throwing away cartridges. Sweet. And then the final kind of thing that's really cool about the new post, travel adjustability. And travel adjust lets you get the most out of your post and lets you get that size larger if you weren't sure you could fit it or not. So same deal, lift up the collar. Each post will come with five of these five millimeter travel spacers. Close it back down. I almost missed a step. <laughs> push your post down a little bit. So first step one, push the post down, close up the collar. And we have a separate O-ring here that's primary function is to keep the collar in place. It also acts as a bit of a debris seal, but that tightens everything up. And now this 240 is a 235. One of the things that we went to some extra trouble on here uh, is we don't have brass pins burying themselves into a plastic bushing. So when we say a five millimeter reduction, we want it to stay that way. So we've added extra parts here. You can see uh, these brass top out keys hit a brass top out ring and these plastic spacers are protected by that. So they're, sit they're living up here, whether it's you're adding one or five, they're protected. It's gonna continue to be the same height that you wanted it to be. And uh, that is an example of the extra trouble we've gone to. That's uh, extends to the whole post. All these parts have been scrutinized and um, tested to the highest levels. And we're really proud that this transfer is gonna be a big leap forward. Sweet, well thanks Tom. Uh, I am really excited about this, especially that 240 option, long leg guy. So, yep. uh, <laughs> sweet, nice. appreciate it. Cool, thank you. Yeah.